I'm red guarding the floor for the tub. Now, I know some of you are saying, you ain't got to do that, dumbass. You got a board that can't crack because it's a cement board and it got the you got the striations in it. But we're paying a lot of money for the tire we buy. So I'd rather be safe than sorry for the extra couple of hundred dollars that Red Guard costs. So for anybody out there wondering why I'm doing it, that's why I'm doing it. The tiles, when you see them, you'll understand. They're not no Home Depot tiles. <laughs> so the tiles are pretty damn expensive. So I'm going to put this Red Guard on here. I want your plastic gloves. No. I'm just going to be using this. Okay. I'm going to put this Red Guard on here. Roll it on. And that should pretty much guarantee that I'm not going to have any cracks in my floor. So yes, I know it's overkill. But considering this is the last and only house we're going to live in, <laughs> I don't want no issues. Now, I'm not doing the walls. I'm just trying to get in the corners. floor um, we put it on the kitchen floor tiles red guard is a membrane that kind of acts like a, a super duper caulk if you will I guess it keeps the floor from getting cracks and which keeps the tile from cracking so it gets real hard and it, it, it prevents a cracking behavior. So what I've learned too is, it's supposed to be relatively thick. It ain't supposed to be too thin. That I didn't know the first time. So this time I'm making it a little thicker. But it's supposed to be so many meals thick. And I guess there's another brand that you can buy that is automatically the thickness it's supposed to be. Unlike this one, you're trying to kind of make it be the thickness. Got to make sure you don't have no lumps. So I'm trying to roll my lumps out. Now these walls here, I'm going to red guard, so I don't have no problem putting that on this one. Just to kind of clean my roller off. I'm going to red guard these anyway. Right here. These tiles are going to be stone. These tiles here are going to be a different tile. So I'm going to red guard this one. But I'm just going to put a light red guard on these walls. Just something to give me a little added protection. Like I said, it's a, a just in case chest move. Not necessarily a necessary chest move.
Ooh, that's a stretch. I'm gonna think. Okay, let's try this again. Ab workout. I don't know, you know. I want to roll her things. Mm -hmm. I hate that thing. Hey. You playing twister. I am. <laughs> That's right. You still do your yoga. Everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm tired of shit. <laughs> Long day. Long day. Long day. We've been going since 6 o'clock. Dog tired, boss. Dog tired. Uh, dog tired, boss. We're trying to get this stone in this tile in, in this bathroom, because the carpet people come in on Monday to put the carpet in the bedroom. So, trying to get this stuff done, so at least most of this is done. We're going to cover the carpet and put some plastic on it until we finish it here. But I'm trying to get at least the bathtub done. So, when we come back off our work workation, I know, right? You know, we can actually move in our house. So, <laughs> one of the main things preventing us from moving in here right now is we can't take a shower. Right. So, try to get the tub in. So, what I'm going to be doing today is we've red guarded this already. And you probably saw from other videos, we built our shut off in here where this piece of board will get tiled and that'll be there. And that'll be covered. But right now we got the red guard on the floor. So what my plan is is to do the walls first, and then once I do the walls, then I will do um, the floor. Because I don't want to mess the floor up doing the walls. So I put in a ledger board to start off with, and I got this. I got this laser level here. Don't seem to be worth a shit. But once I get up to the next level, it'll kind of help me. As you can see, it's right with my lines where I marked at. So what I did was I just stacked the stones on top of my leisure board. And then I marked lines everywhere where my stones are going to fall. So I did that as my first chess move before I just relied on this thing. So I don't know if this thing is worth it or not, but we'll see. But you can see it does give me a line. It is level. It's not blinking. So I'm going to try to use it to stick to that line and uh, put these stones on and see where we at. Like I said, it's, it's, it's late. You see it's dark outside. I don't know, right? Yeah, it's been so, a long day. You know, we leave here in a little while, so we try to get down before we go. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're about to see me do. Until right. next time. Peace. All right. Like I said, I ain't never did this before. This shit. I ain't never did none of this shit before. So I'm going to start from this corner and work my way out this way. That way I can leave myself with a straight edge that I'm going to cut some of the broken's.
finally making some progress as you can see. I just cut a bunch of them to go on these corners. I'm, I'm laughing because you got all that dust coming out your shirt. Mm -hmm. Like pink pen on. Yeah. Uh, peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> I need my blanket. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I can say is this. The laser level thing is cool, but it wasn't as a necessity as I thought it was going to be. So, I'm still kind of glad I bought it. It's more like a backup tool to what you should have already figured out. So, let me say that. Yo, 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 laser level ain't for you to, 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 to get it. It's for your backup tool. So, see, like I, so this was good when I used my laser level to kind of get my joint so that I could come right off of this piece here and come right on up which is kind of what my wood piece already did right but now when I get this thing leveled right there we go now I can turn it and get it right there where it should be so now you can see it's right in the corner where the joint is, oops, can't touch nothing. It's right in the corner where the joint is, and then it comes right up to where my line is. What's good about the laser level is when you're measuring, if you need to measure, you can get an exact right where the lines can. Can't get in front of it. Oh, buddy. I'm sorry. You can, you can get exactly what your measurement for your line is going to be on which ones. Okay, so that's, the, the, the line will hit the tape measure right where you need it to hit. So, so that's the one good thing it did, um, is it gave me that to be able to, you know, you can see it's level all the way across. But once you set your ledger board, and you get your ledger board right, you're pretty much going to end up being level anyway. You know what I'm saying? You're going to end up being level. So the main thing is, this really acts like a backup, just to give you that extra confidence that you're right. So now what I'll do is, now that I got this, I'm going to put these pieces in, then I'm going to do the floor. Then after I do the floor, I'll put the baseboard on. Then I'll have one last piece that will fit between the baseboard and, and the bottom of here. The reason you do that is because if there's any offness, any slight, you know, like an eighth of an inch or with the smidgets I'm always talking about, you can skim, you know, I could take one of these, like let's just say it's just slightly too long right here. I could take a grinder and just grind it down and get it sort of fit and then the whole wall and the baseboard will stay looking level and the one piece that have a little flaw you won't see and you won't notice because it'll be a, the piece right off the floor. So, you do your ledger board one piece above the baseboard. Don't do your ledger board at your baseboard. If you're laying tile and you got a baseboard, and if you're laying tile, then you lay your floor, then you lay your floor tile, then the one tile above that becomes your offset is where you put your offset. You don't put your offset at the top, and you don't put your offset at the bottom. Okay? So that's just a lesson. I hope that helps somebody. Because it helped me a lot. <sighs> Buddy of mine, Lamille, he gave me that two cents. <laughs> so I'm glad he gave it to me. Because he, he was right. Uh, so shout out to Lamille. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to put these pieces on here. On here. Then I'm going to come back and, and I'm going to do my floor next. And I'm going to come back and do this last. I'm going to do this and fill in these pieces here last. That's going to be the last thing I'm going to do. I'm trying to get this in so I can be done with this mud because my wife getting her carpet put in tomorrow. And I want to put this in because then I can go down and get the grout and put her tub in. If I put a tub in, she'll be You'll never see me again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the end of How to Be Free, Jack. <laughs> the 
There won't be no more videos. No more videos. All the videos will be over. All right, so that's where we at. So I just want to give you that little two cents. So that's what I'm going to do now is put these on. This is hot. It's hot water. This is cold water. Okay. Put it on warm. Tested the shutoff valves yesterday, so I've been having water pressure run to this thing since yesterday, so I know it's okay. So now we just gotta let the water run out. So you just turn this thing here, and that turns the water off. Okay, and that just goes on there like that. Yeah, that was good.
want this time for closure You want what you want, that that must be awful But please pull up your pants, no offense Won't be dancing in rice I'm not telling you twice Nothing you can do to make things right I'm a Gemini